All right, on to the video, let's talk about the SSL uh, LMC Plus compressor. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's in, it's like in 20 bucks right now. So they have this promotion. Uh, I hope it's still the promotion, okay? Because the regular price is like over, over 100 bucks. So yeah, so let's go to Pro Tools and I will show you this special compressor plugin. Okay, so let's go. Well, so we are here in front of the session. By the way, same band from the last video, Night Hand. This is for the first album we record. And just in case I did a mix it, so these pretty much are the road tracks. But in this case, I add the API 25,000, you know, to the mix on the drums group, okay? To get like a little more control in the drums, okay? And what else? Pretty much the same, same cues on the only on the on the groups. Okay, so pretty much still in the raw era. Okay, and later we add the same settings I used for the last video I did, talking about the function of the insert and also to the mid side on the fusion. Okay, to get like a little more try to little more color you know on this but let's see uh this is the plugin itself as you see there it is there is the plugin okay a little bit of history uh this this was a uh, uh, if i don't remember but okay because sorry uh eventually i uh, will put like a little video talking about this Okay, but I will talk this by by memory. Okay, probably I will be wrong. Okay, so okay, so sorry, but so far I remember uh, the the SSL 4000 E consoles. They have this talk bulk, you know. I mean talk talk back, you know. Like I have the same here with my with my dangerous music D box. Okay, but I'm pretty sure inside that they have like a this compressor, you know to make the communication better, you know, to not tune in low or less, you know. Um, and that was in particular record, I guess that was on record of field calling. They record the, the room of the drums engaging with a tall buck function and then they, 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 they didn't realize it, you know, they, they have that special compressor inside the console and then that's how that sound sound. And yeah, and then that was a pretty cool effect, okay? And a lot of the engineers back in the 80s and even now, they start to using this kind of weird accent as like a, one of the super secret um, parallel compressor form, especially for drums, okay? Now, what's so great about this plugin? It's based off the compressor installed in the talkback microphone path on an SSL console to prevent any overloads when bands were yelling at the engineer through the console window. One day, the legendary producer Hugh Padgham left the microphone on while Phil Collins was warming up for a take on Peter Gabriel's 1980 album. And when Phil started playing, he stopped dead in his tracks. It sounded so massive because the compressor was still on. Then he got his assistant to wire the listen mic compressor back into a channel strip so he could record it and blend the intensely crushed signal back in with the kit. This technique was then used on In The Air Tonight, arguably the most famous drum sound of all time. So, let's see. Let's see how this do, okay? So, Ray, I mean, later, SSL add this scoop and split. I was playing with this before, okay, because I bought this like a three years ago, probably, and I totally forgot to make a review for it, so my bad, okay? But, because it's in sell, so why not, okay? So I don't use this part because it's making sound weird, but let's see on the, on the website what it said about this, okay? So on the website it said, uh, scoop is face inverse the, the, the web signal, and a split engages in bad pass sub subtraction mode. And then if you combine a scoop and a split for creative vibrations. In my personal experience, I 
these two sounds weird, but weird, so weird. So I don't use this, but I will show you how we sound with these guys. So, but the main sauce is just this, is how much compressor you want. And also they add uh, filters. This is very important, okay? And the auto gain, which is amazing. So I don't have, if I have, I mean, if I put like a more input, I don't do this, you know, because for that I need two, two hands. For example, here in my input and output of the fusion, I can do that with my two hands, but in a plugin world, I have only one mouse, so it's <laughs> gonna be super difficult to do that. To do that. And then, uh, okay, let's put this there. And yeah, let's put in, let's put this in auto for not make this, you know. And yeah, so let's see. Let's see how it sounds, okay? And before I continue, please don't forget to subscribe, to give me a like, to share this, to comment, because I can close to get the monetize the monetized level on YouTube. You know, that's gonna help me a lot to get like a little extra money to buy more plugins and and even with more views and then also with more subscribers, I will get like a you know, with more views, they will YouTube will pay me more, and then uh, I will buy more gear and then I'll review it for you guys. Okay, so yeah, and don't forget to do that. And I want to do something new for now, and I will talk and I will mention some one of the best comments I have in my past videos. Okay, so let me find that. Okay, this is a comment from S. 7B7Cs, well, 7Cs, there is, <laughs> I just get out of uh, this, I mean, I just understand the name of this user, you know, so let's see, he said on the video about the Rupert Neef, you know, the tape emulators I did, so he post, you should be also check out the Hamson Audio Solo Passive Tape Emulator, or Tape Simulator, I mean, yeah, he's right, uh, I hear and see pretty cool reviews about that one, but well, we'll see, you know, uh, if I got the money, if, I mean, if I got the extra money to buy on that, sure, why not? And if you want to see me to do this, you know, please, like I said, don't forget to give me a like, to subscribe, and then you will help me to get that monetized level. Yeah, but yeah, I hear pretty good reviews about it. And let me check another another comment, okay? Okay, this is from SAC Studio Argentina. Well, as you see, this is in Spanish, but I will translate it for you, okay? So he pretty much said on it, Minute 2808, this is from the, the last interview I have, you know, from my friend Gustavo. I know that was in, that, uh, that interview podcast is, is in Spanish, but you can use that translator, you know, option there. But pretty much he said on that time period, uh, he said, that's the reason I I follow your your channel, Javier Ross, because I don't... I don't know another channel who show the process of the recording and mixing of band of hardcore, punk, grind, corded metal, etc. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Thank you. Because there is a there is a couple YouTubers there I really like. And but it's not the same, you know, because I don't want to say this in, in a bad way, but there is one German guy. Actually, I I really learned like a couple of tricks for uh, uh, from him. But his approach to to the production is very polished, very crystal clear, which is fine, which is good. You know, is nothing wrong about it. But me, personally speaking, I prefer this more old school way. And then maybe that's the reason he. He can't leave my channel because of that. But yeah, so please, you know, comment because if I see that comment pretty cool and also help the channel, I will put you here, you know, and, and then I will show you to, to you guys. So now let's back to the video and let's see. All right. All right. So that's the song. My Austria track for the drum. Parallel is in mute, as you see here, and yeah, so let's see, let's see if I'm going to mute this guy and solo drums, excuse me, so by the way, my master bus processing is in mute, I mean, it's in, it's in bypass, okay, and now sorry, I saw the in my, in my nose, but yeah, so in the end, eventually we're going to listen how it's on together, okay? Okay, 
Start the sound better. Let's use the. No, let's focus on this first. Okay, and mute this. Wait. In outer areas, sorry. Aries. That is the outer game now. That's without. Yeah, you can feel it. I have more attack, more body, more drive in the drums. There is. So now you see the filter because are in, by the way. Yeah, 40 hertz. I don't, I don't want to compress the low, very low here. Let's see this. You can listen, right? So if I be very drastic on the on the high frequencies, I can take it off the harshness of the of, of the overheads. Let's wait for the for the whole song coming up because there, there is more song coming up. Okay? Less of that harshness. Actually, I can clean the harshness with a with a, with a couple of lines, one for baby the other for out sound. But if I had this option here, why not? You know. So less RAM processing for in the computer. But let's dive into yeah, four kilohertz. Let's see what a difference, right? So drum sounds cool, but with this. Now let's focus on it. Now I'm listen to this scoop split. I don't like it, like I told you before. Uh, if you find something, if you find a usable user, but me personally speaking, I don't like it. So let's see, scoop. So that's zero percent, hundred percent. Oh, that's the end of the song. Okay, so uh, let me stop this and, l and then let's do this again and focus on the routing. Okay, one second. Okay, let's listen to Scoop again. Scoop! Come on, there it is. Sounds weird. Maybe I have less harshness, but one second, but it's in trial, so so it's not process anything. So 100% is process. I find it super weird this. But like I said, if you find something you should work for that, good. And yeah, listen with the whole song. And the pretty cool part about the paleo compression is I got it in the auxilia, so I can put the fit how much I want it. You see, that's zero. There it is. I don't want it so noticeable, but I want it there subtle to give me like a more attack in the drums because mute. Yeah. 
You feel it, right? Now let's put the, the whole thing together. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how it's not without. Even in the whole mix, using the Arnai and all that master was pro uh, uh, processing, you can feel it. That's without. Oh, yeah. So, with the drum sounds so alive. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this this was the song of the 80s back in the day with that happy accident on the Finn Collin album and the Finn Collin song you listened before in the video. So this is a so this is the sound. Now check this out. If you got the, the SSL fusion, you have that compressor here. So let me take it off the Vintage drive, the Q, the image, and if I hold in this, yeah, let me just in case do this. The thing is, because it's in the master bass, it's gonna sound weird, but you will see how it sounds. Okay? So if I hold this, you gotta turn, you gotta turn red, come on. Oh, wait a second. There it is. No, it, it doesn't turn red. It's turn clear. See? No compression. But here it is. It's compressing right now. No? Yeah, pretty cool. So, so the thing is, well, because I got a hook grab already, you know, it's already connected in my master bar change. I can't use it, but if this is connected independent, you know, for example, if I record in drums, I can use the, for example, the front mic or the wall mic, extra mic, and fit it here and record it with this also compressor to give me that 80s vibe already and then print it in Pro Tools. So which is that's the reason like I said in the last video this is self fusion solder side. So let me go back to the regular there it is this is regular now go in, in there uh -huh. Good. Back this. Beautiful. Now let me stop this. And yeah, so solid state the L M C plus the listen mic compressor. I hope you really like this. And eventually, probably on the next video, I'm going to put this compressor against my other three awesome drum parallel compressors. Two from MV Audio, one for Pulsar, and this guy, and let's do like a battle between these guys. And by the way, is one one is not the best. All these three have like a I mean sorry, except for the for the pulsar one, which is very very straightforward. So you have output and how much you want the compression, and that's it. So you you will see it in that video, but yeah, those four are pretty cool, and I use it depends of the project, depends what kind of music, depends of everything. But yeah, so this is a good, good damn parallel conversion, and that's all. Bye guys, see ya.